Hi, this is Sumato. In this video I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Kotsovsky and Witkov that was played in La Coruña in 1995. La Coruña is a city in Spain. Kotsovsky had white pieces and he started with d4. Witkov played knight to f6, knight to f3, d5 and bishop to f4, the start of the London system. e6, e3, bishop to d6, challenging bishop on f4. How should white continue? White played bishop to g3, that is better than taking bishop on d6. Another option is knight to e5, and after knight from b to d7, bishop to d3 and c5, which looks like a good move, is a mistake. Because of this variation, knight takes on f7, forking queen and rook. After king takes on f7, bishop takes on d6, and the white is better. In the game we have bishop to g3, but then knight to e4, attacking bishop. Knight from b to d2, and black got rid of the bishop. White captured towards the center, and now rook is placed on the semi-open file. Knight to d7, bishop to d3, and black played c6. Perhaps c5 should have been considered, then e4 would be a mistake in view of c4. In the game we have c6, white played e4, and queen to b6, attacking pawn on b2. White played e5, attacking bishop and gaining space on the board. Bishop to e7, rook to b1, defending pawn, but now white can't cast the queen side. Mission accomplished. Queen to c7 was played. Black wants to push pawn to b6 or maybe to b5. c3, b6, and white castled kingside. Surely white considered taking that pawn on h7. Why he didn't? Well, let's see. If rook takes on h7, rook takes rook. Bishop takes rook and g6. Bishop is trapped. So this variation wasn't to white's liking. And uh, also white didn't take advantage of the semi-open file, so he just castled. Bishop to b7, b4, a5, b5. If pawn takes pawn, then bishop takes on b5. Black would not capture on c3. If queen takes on c3, then knight is captured and black can't castle. So in the game, black castled. And now queen to e2. Still, taking pawn doesn't work because the knight is captured. So in the game we have rook from f to c8 and now a4 queen to d8 rook from f to c1 rook to c7 perhaps planning to double rooks on c file c4 and black played c5 Doubling rooks should have been considered. Perhaps that is better move than c5. c5 was played. And now c takes on d5. Bishop takes on d5. And white decided to exchange bishops. Black played knight to f8. And now not taking bishop. Because if bishop takes bishop, then pawn takes on d5. If pawn takes on c5, pawn takes pawn, 
black has two pass pawns. They're hanging pawns, but they could be a worry. So this position wasn't to White's liking. So he played knight to c4 attacking pawn on b6. c takes on d4. And of course, White captured. If he takes on b6, then rook takes rook and queen takes knight. So knight takes on d4 was played. Bishop to c5, attacking knight and defending pawn on b6. Knight to c6, this is a very good move. And knight is now extremely well placed. At the moment, knight is attacking queen. But black would be discouraged to double rooks on the c file. So queen must move. Queen to g5. And who is better? White or black? Well, black has two bishops, but this is not advantage. One of them could be exchanged. Knight on f8 is not doing much. Knight is rook on a8. And white has a plan. He plans to push pawn to f4 to gain more space on the board. At the moment, this is not possible because this is illegal move. So first, he must get rid of that bishop on c5. He must protect pawn on g3. And then f4 would give him advantage. First, knight to d2. Knight is going to b3. Black played a knight to g6 that is making room for bishop to come to f8. But now, before bishop to b3, white captured on d5 and created isolated pawn, which is going to be a target for the attack. And now, knight to b3 attacking bishop. Bishop to f8. Rook to d1, attacking pawn. Knight to e7, not only defending pawn, but attacking knight on c6. Knight from b to d4. Rook to e8, perhaps thinking about f6 and annoying a white queen. Rook to b3, the purpose is to defend pawn on g3. Knight to g6. Better move would be to take that knight on c6, but even then, white is better. But not as much as after knight to g6. It is white to move and to play a winning move. It should be easy to find, but if you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move that white played in this position. Ready? So it is quite ordinary one. f4, attacking queen. But the problem is, queen has only one square, only one safe square, and that is h6. Queen to h6. It is white to move. White made a move, and black resigned. Can you see it? It is knight to f5 winning queen. That's why black resigned. That was very interesting game, wasn't it? And in this game, things were not going according to white's plan. Remember, at move 6, black captured white's very precious bishop. And then at move 11, rook to b1 was played, and white couldn't castle queenside. And then, at move 13, white castled kingside. He didn't take advantage of the semi-open file. How did white win? Well, white had better placed pieces. And he had space advantage, which helped to win the queen. And the game. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.